In this video, we are going to discuss about communication in a commercial organization. Communication has always been a part of human relationship. It may be defined as interchange of thoughts and mutual understanding. It involves exchange or sharing ideas, opinions and facts between two or more persons. The message passed on could be written, verbal or gestural. The characteristics of communication can be discussed under the following headings. Number one, two or more persons. The sender sends a written, verbal or gestural message and there needs to be a receiver or receivers of that message. Number two, two-way process. When a sender sends a message to a receiver, the communication process is not over until and unless the receiver reacts to the message he has received and replies back. Number three, continuous process. A business organization cannot function properly without constant and continuous exchange of ideas, opinions and facts. Communication in terms of meetings and discussions has to go on frequently. It cannot be a one-time activity but is an ongoing process. Number four, mutual understanding. The purpose of communication is to bring about an understanding amongst the members by means of information and facts. Number five, multiple channel. Communication can be formal or informal. The formal ones are more official types. It may flow from a higher level of authority or vice versa or maybe at the same level. We call this downward, upward or horizontal communication. And number six, several media. I have already told you that communication can be written, verbal or it can be gestural in nature. 